good afternoon good evening good night and what's up hey everybody i'm stacy and welcome back to my channel to all of my existing subscribers and to all my new subscribers hello sit down get a drink get a snack and welcome to this week's video all right we are on the next to last episode of my new home journey ah <sighs> all right let's go it was july 10th saturday july 10th i went to take a look at one more condo and let me give you the particulars on this condo and then we'll get on into it uh this condo was around i think it was like around one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. it wasn't at my max which was good because i think i um yeah i think it was um under the hundred and twenty thousand dollar max uh this was a two bedroom one bathroom uh let's see unfortunately this one had white appliances not stainless steel it did have a full-size washer and dryer which you will see and the area this was this condo is located in the university city area um really close to ladue so it's really close to a lot of things the highway very very close uh right by a bus line a uh, very convenient um, location um, but yeah it was it was very convenient so this place I, I wanted to see and also it was one of those ones that okay Zillow you see the Zillow pictures and you're like mm, let me see it for myself you know so uh, let's get into this condo and when I get back I'll tell you guys pros and cons and all the fun stuff okay i'm starting out in the front bedroom why instead of the living room i don't know but i'm starting out in the front bedroom uh the windows are very tall and then you go to the closet um closet space wasn't too bad the doors were cringy at best that's the best way i can describe it that is the closet overall as a backup into the room so you can kind of see a little bit more of the layout the windows were almost floor to ceiling which was pretty cool i actually kind of like that um you can get in a really nice amount of light in the room um we were there it was like nine o'clock in the morning so you know the light was pretty good as you can see pretty high ceilings fully carpeted bedroom and then you walk out into the little hallway right here ahead of you is the bathroom door and to the left is the second bedroom but first we're going to go over here here is one closet right here in the hall um pretty like i said pretty tall ceiling so you get a pretty decent amount of height the, the um, closet was carpeted also and then you then there's a second closet right next to it with built-in shelves which was pretty cool you didn't have to do much in there maybe put some uh paper on the shelves and then next is the bathroom bathroom was pretty small but you know had all the standard fixings toilet tub and potty there's the mirror and the lights <laughs> and the little cabinet over the potty. Um, there is the tub surround right there. Looks like maybe a handicapped person used to live there or they had it for a handicapped person. The tub absolutely, that whole tub surround absolutely needed to be replaced. Seriously, it needed to be replaced. So as I back out of there, I go into the second, the back bedroom right here. Um, it was only one window in there, which made it a little bit dark. Uh, this bedroom has, let's see, looks like I have one closet with a sliding door, just like the front bedroom. This had wall-to-wall -wall carpeting and it actually had a overhead light in the room. So that's one thing that was not on my list, but I was happy because most of the condos I've looked at did not have a overhead light in the bedrooms. So as you see there is the door leading out back into the hall and now we're going to go into the living space where tiffany lisa and liliana are talking everybody's got their coffee i had my hot chocolate it was in the kitchen now we go into the kitchen where my bag and my hot chocolate was here's the kitchen um the cabinets 
were a great color. I actually like the cabinets. The countertop, mm, we're not going to talk about that right now. The kitchen was actually a pretty decent size. It wasn't too small. It wasn't too big. And there was also an outside. The looks like, uh, let's see, we have the hot water heater and the HVAC right above the full size washer and dryer in the little laundry space in the kitchen. All the kitchen, the kitchen had white appliances, as you can see. And, and there was also a nice little outdoor space where you can go sit out and just chill, you know, just hang out and things like that. And now back out into the living and dining area where we're all just talking. And um, like right here is the dining area where you would make the dining area, as I'm pointing out. That could be a dining area with a, another floor to almost ceiling window right there so if you want to put a dining room for me it would be a desk <laughs> and uh that would be my make sure that would actually be my office area because i don't need a dining room i don't host people people scare me and anyway there's tiffany right there there is the living area the front door and uh the blinds which the blinds need to be replaced looks like they were still delivering mail there why i don't know and that is the condo tour all right well as you guys saw that i <laughs> took a look at this condo lisa and liliana were along for this ride so um we all took a look at this one together and let's talk about it here's the situation the location as i told you the location was in university city great location right near a bus line um, I could take the bus to the train or take the bus to catch another bus if I want to go to Loop or anything like that. So it was very, con that part was convenient. Um, I actually used to live not far from there. My, um, what was that? My last single girl apartment. Yeah, tech yeah, that was my last single woman apartment was literally like a couple of blocks away from there. So I know the area pretty well. Um, grocery store was down the street. You had a Walgreens near there. All of that, you know, all the good stuff was over that way. So, great. The, let's see, that's the pros. Those were the pros. The living room was a really nice amount of space. It was very big. So I could, you know, really, you know, buy nice furniture. I can have a nice size office in the live in that dining area because, you know, I don't do dining rooms. I don't I don't invite people over. Plus, I don't care for having. Oop, sorry. Computer is on, as you all can see. Um. It's not a big deal having people over, so I'm not that that's not a big deal to me. So the big thing was, you know, I love the living and dining area. It was very nice space. The bedrooms were not bad space wise. You could I could, you know, pretty much do everything I want to do in there. So I did like that. Let's talk about the cons. Oh no, I'm sorry. One more pro. The kitchen. The kitchen space. If I wanted to put a little table and chairs in the kitchen. I could do that because that it was really nice amount of space in the kitchen. There was a full size washer and dryer in there. You had the HVAC, you had your, um, uh, what was it? You had the, um, water heater, all of that in there too. So it was all in unit that, that was a good thing. Let's talk cons. I was gonna have to walk in doing a good amount of work. The floor, the carpet was going to have to be, um, redone i was gonna have to the kitchen floor was salvageable i could keep that but the light in the kitchen i would have to redo the appliances were not what i wanted i wanted stainless steel i did not want white but you can get appliance packages you know black friday so i could have just bought a whole appliance new appliance package if i wanted to uh the street was very narrow that was and so getting movers in i think would have been a complete disaster i believe it would have been a huge huge disaster doing that part uh let's see what else the bathroom it's just me so i don't really need a big bathroom but that bathroom was very tiny very cramped the mirror would have to be replaced the light fixture didn't look very good Lo looks like it needed to be replaced itself the tub and shower 
surround that all need to be replaced. It was a lot of work I was going to have to do walking in there. So those are my pros. Those are my cons. Did I put an offer in on this condo? Yeah, I did. Don't ask me why I put a, a offer in on it. And I think the reason why is because I looked at the work that needed to be done. I could have done things in phases and I think that's that, that was my thought was like, well, I can do the immediate stuff like the floors now and, you know, change the blinds and, you know, do the, some of the cosmetic things early that then when I was in maybe a year, the next year, do the next thing and just, you know, gradually do, you know, just gradually fix the place up the way I wanted it to look. So I did put an offer in on it that Saturday. I think I went above list price on that one also, like I did on last week's. And I did not get that one. Funny thing about how that one went down. I never was, we were never notified that my offer was not accepted, which was really kind of rude by the selling um, realtor, which, you know, to be honest with you, I don't care. I wasn't mad. I was watching the home. I was actually watching the local home show here. And I, I went and I looked at the listing and the listing showed pending. And I'm like, pending, huh? And then I found it to be odd. And then Tiffany texted me and she, and I, she said, well, I haven't heard back from anybody. And I said, well, one of us said that they saw it pending. So she's like, that was rude. And she was up. She was totally upset. And I was too. But then in hindsight, but then like probably later on that day, I was like, that's all right. I'm glad I didn't get it. So it's not even a big deal. So I think that was a Sunday. So I think later that day is when I sent her this address and said, I want to go look at this one. So next week, you're going to see my home tour. Um, I'm glad I didn't get that place because that, I, I would have had to put a lot of money into it. So <laughs> I don't know what, what the hell was I thinking? I'm just going to flat out say, I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, oh yeah, I can put some work into it. Da, 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 da. I'm thinking like, I am not Mrs. Fix It. I don't know what possessed me. What possessed me? What possessed me to go for this place? <laughs> I don't know. But as you all saw, that place was a whole mess. But I didn't get it. Thank goodness I didn't get it. So that is it for this uh, condo tour. Um, special shout outs and thanks to everybody that was in on this. Tiffany Hamilton of Hamilton Realty, Derek Jackson, of USA Mortgage, my family uh, that was always here for me. Um, of course, you know who you guys saw <laughs> his, his Halloween costume last week. The cat, of course, Shadow gets always, always gets love. And that is it. I'm going to get out of here. If you guys like videos like this and you want to see more videos like this uh, about new home journeys, um, sneakers, bags, all the other fun stuff. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And those are free of charge. So you don't have to pay anything. And don't forget to click that notification bell. So you don't miss out on my videos that drop on Sundays, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So you guys can see those. Um, I'm going to get out of here and um, start getting the home tour ready because that has been recorded for a while. So I'm going to go and get on out of here. Actually, no, it is 4.57. I'm fixing to eat. I am hungry and I think I'm going to eat some macaroni bites tonight and something else. I don't know. But I'm going to get on out of here. And that's it. Make sure to talk to me below if you guys have any questions on anything. And, that, and I keep saying that's it. I'm going to go. Love, peace, hair products, lifestyle, homes, and all that fun stuff. Bye. Oh.